Hi everyone, this is Heidi from Blackhawk Paramotor USA, here today featuring the new Blackhawk Light Trike. Today we're going to take it up for its first flight and take video footage of the whole thing so you can see how well this new trike performs. The Blackhawk Low by 2 Quad has been a huge seller for us. Why now the trike? Well, let's be honest, first of all, a quad is much more stable than a trike, but there's been a lot of requests for experienced pilots to have something that's very lightweight that they can take their foot launch unit and stick it on it. The other thing is transportability. This will fit in a Prius quite easily, and honestly, it takes probably 10 minutes to put it in a car as small as a Prius. The Blackhawk Low Boy Quad is made out of chromoly steel. What's the trike made out of? The trike is all aluminum. Every bit of it is aluminum, and it weighs only 30 pounds. This entire trike only weighs 30 pounds? Yes, it weighs 30 pounds. Of course, it's not including your paramotor, your foot launch paramotor that you're gonna put on the trike, but yes, 30 pounds. So what's the goal here? Today is gonna to be the trike's first flight. That's correct. The first thing I'm gonna do is taxi it and just get a feel for how the steering works, how stable it actually is. And if all goes well, I'll probably lift off the ground maybe five or six feet. Uh, at that point, the harness will come off of the quad or rise up about four inches off the quad is what I anticipate, at least that's how we designed it. At that point, uh, I'll just continue on and if it feels good, then I'll climb up a little bit higher and, and initiate some turns. Now you mentioned the quad, probably because that's all we sold, but you mean the harness is going to come off the trike, correct? Yes, that's okay. correct. The harness will rise up off the trike when I'm completely elevated off the ground. Okay. It's not a big deal, but remember, this is basically foot launch. The trike is only a vehicle to get you off the ground and on the ground without using these. Once I'm in the air, I have complete weight shift exactly like I would if I was foot launch. Oh. Everything will be exactly the same. Amazing. If all works out, it should be phenomenal. I can't wait to see it. Hey, I see you're doing a pretty thorough pre-flight. What are you checking for? Well, obviously this is the trike's first flight, so we've assembled everything, and I just want to give it a really solid once over to make sure that everything is secure. The things that I'm most interested in are the steering and the connection point. In other words, how the foot launch unit was set on the frame and connected. So I'm looking over those connection points, making sure that uh, the bolts are all tight, etc. Et and frankly, everything looks really good. I think I'm ready to go. All right. This is my uh, Kestrel Pro foot launch model. Grass is a little wet. The glider I'm gonna fly is my 23 Electra. Hold the lines.
This is awesome. Okay, that was absolutely awesome. It performed so well. I'm really happy. Very, very, very minor adjustments. No changes. Yeah. Hey all, I'd like to thank you very, very much for watching another Blackhawk Paramotor USA video on the Blackhawk Light Trike. This is really a fabulous machine and those of you that purchase one will love it for years to come. One of the things that I've noticed in test flying the trike is that it's a little different than a quad. As some of you know, when I get in a quad or you get in the quad, you get in and you put a seatbelt on and that's all there is to it. Well, a couple times I've gotten all set in it, my leg straps and everything are on, and I go to launch and I go, oh, where's the straps? I forgot to actually get in the harness. So don't forget to follow protocol exactly the same as if you were to foot launch. Also, Weight shift is not an issue. I've weight shifted the tar out of this machine and I don't even know that the trike is there. That's really neat. If you have any questions whatsoever for Heidi or I or anybody in the shop, please feel free to call us at the office on the number on the screen.